Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and don't forget to visit my homepage at hiteshchaudhary.com and I would be really waiting for your feedback, reply, hello or anything like that. In this video we are going to talk about the header injection. Header injection are one of the most popular, recent and advanced kind of SQL injection that you can see around. A lot of attack that nowadays you see are not just a single quote attack and you are going to run order by, then a union all select and going to dump the database. It's not just like that easy. Uh, the advanced websites like Facebook, Twitter are many times vulnerable to SQL injection attack and many times you might have seen on the news that hey database of Facebook was leaked out and all these. So the header injection is one of the behind, uh, one of the major injection technique behind all such activities. So let us try to run that but before I want to show you that uh, all of the techniques which I am going to run on the backtrack instance you could have also run that on the Windows platform and let me show you that. Although I have created a separate video for installation on Windows so those who were actually getting some things that hey can we also perform on these things window or could sh show the demonstrations on the Windows yes you can also do that. So let me go to my Mozilla Firefox. So I have already discussed everything, how to install VAMP server, everything out there. So you can see localhost master lesson 16 is out there. And what you could have done, you could have simply go to this, uh, the master folder, which we have created, uh, place the file lesson 16.zip, unzip that file. Here you will find all the contents out there and can run out from the localhost in your browser. So that's simple in that you can simply go and say that let's log in with admin and admin. So it says yes, the thumbs up that means we have got logged in into the 16th chapter. And also you could have done go to this here and you could have clicked on here, go to the MySQL console, you could have run it and in that you could have simply typed uh, enter here because in the Windows platform I haven't assigned any kind of password. So just here we have got our MySQL and you can simply use security as your database, database changed and select star from let's say users. So all the thing is pretty much same. So working on Linux or Windows is pretty much same for this of the course. Although I will again recommend to jump on into the backtrack instance so that we can set up everything again on this platform. I really like to work on this. So let us try to explore the lesson number 16 and as always I'll first of all move this lesson from root desktop lesson to slash var www master and I would again travel to slash var www master and do a quick ls and I'll see that where is my file uh, here it is lesson 16 here it is I can simply unzip the file as name with the lesson 16 all the contents are out here now as always again first of all I will travel to the lesson number 16 just like in the previous video and I will open up the index file and make sure you open the index file of each and every lesson and try to analyze what are the queries behind. Here is actually the PHP things starting out here and the important thing for this of the lesson is we have used the strip slashes that's a pretty good one and we have also used the MySQL real escape string uh, for the security basis but what we have done additionally here is let me show you where it is. Here it is. We have given a SQL query that says select user.username user.password from user where user is order by and everything clause is being out here. Uh, the important thing to log in and apart from that there is also one more thing. Let me show you that also. Here it is. So what we have done here in this particular query is insert into security U agents and everything. So we are also trying to print the what is the user agent that is the browser or anything what is the IP address of the user also and I have also shown all these values into the browser as well. So that's the thing we are going to learn the header injection via this. So service Apache to let me check the status. 
so it's running let me launch the Firefox and launch it in the background here we have got the local host and I think lesson number 16 okay so here it is our lesson now for this particular lesson you are also going to need one more thing and that thing is go to your tools and you should have your temper data add-on installed now this is really a great add-on you should have it in case you don't have it just you can simply do a Google search for it and it's really one of the top search into the temper data so here is it our add-on the temper data and here we have you can simply click on this link and can download the temper data out here it's a simple piece of add-on that you can at any time you can grab it now the username let's try with the admin and let's say one two three four so it gives yes okay and if I again try it admin and admin it gives me a thumbs down also in addition it prints out the IP address of the user which is trying to log in so one two three four login when you log in into this database you are also additionally getting you are using a Mozilla agent Linux everything the gecko the Firefox and everything and one more important thing if you don't know what is this gecko I would highly recommend to log in into my web design basics and to understand how actually the web technology being working around so what I will do here uh, if I do a admin and if I hit a single quote I get nothing if I hit a single quote and a single quote again I'm going to get nothing backslashes are also not going to work because we have used some very good characters now additionally what I could do I could have done here is admin admin let me start my temper data to understand and to learn what are these header base injections what I'll do I'll start my temper and I will also make sure no other tabs is being open because you know what we are going to do we are trying to grab and temper the data in between so a lot of request into your temper file can really cause some distraction so let me close it and let me close this second browser so temper data let me start this and let me now hit a submit when I hit a submit it shows me a pop-up that hey tamper it and you can see a lot of information a valuable information I would say so here it is here are the post parameters like admin admin and submit is submit but additionally what I have got is a user agent and everything this is the thing which is actually being popped out so if I say let's say test or let's say test agent and if I hit OK and uh, stop the temper what is actually happening around here let us also understand that so let's move on to our file and let us go to this and again let us try to vim index.php and let us try to run on this and let us try to find out the query where it's, it's all the things are being actually happening so instead what I could have done here is select star from u agents now interestingly you can see that what you have got here is that Linux Mozilla is being logged in Linux Mozilla is being logged in and two things are being logged in here again let us try some things on the Firefox so that we can actually get more friendly to this so again let me hit admin admin start my temper data start the temper submit temper it and in place of Mozilla let me give a test and click it OK Oop. 
oops I haven't logged in actually that was the problem being around so one two three four so this time I again need my temper data to start and running I was not being able to log in that's why the entry was not being made temper it in between user agent fill it to the test click OK so it says your user agent is test now this is really really some unpredictable thing and of course if I go on to my select star from uh, user agents I'll find out that hey test is being mentioned now test is not a user agent so interestingly we were able to interact with the database from the help of temper data now this is something unique that you can do also let us try to work on likewise and what we can do in addition let's check it out first of all what we can do out here is admin and one two three four that is the password if you reset the password the password will again be the admin so what I'll do I'll hit a submit temper the request now here my backslashes and everything is not working so instead what I can do out here I can put a backslash here and can notice if I get an error out here or not so if I click OK now interestingly if you see on the web page you got you have an SQL syntax error now this error might be a very friendly error for you so by this same syntax you can actually get more into the depth you can get a lots of error now you know the single query error double query error you can get somehow the information from the database now this is actually can be tedious you always have to stop the temper then create some agents and everything out there but yes this is a manual process how to proceed but there are other things like burp suit and other by which you can do a manual injection but the technique is now with you you can do a lots of testing with this that hey sometimes injections are also possible via the header information so I hope my goal is pretty much clear out there from this video and I can understand this video is quite a big one but yes this is one of the advanced injection that you can try out in any website but make sure you perform it legally report it legally and likewise so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching